Velo 404 Boxing. All right, y'all. Just realized I hadn't dropped any content in a couple days. Get on here and talk about something. So, uh, Showtime's dropped their schedule for the PVC fighters and for some other fighters that'll be on their um, broadcast. And uh, one jumps out. Um, for me, seeing that Jamal Charlo is going to fight Magic Selesky, um, it just doesn't do it. You know, um, I realize that Selecki has only lost to Demetrius Andre and to Daniel Jacobs. Okay? So so he's not some guy that just any old fighter is going to just come in there and just run over. But he's also not the kind of fighter that you look at any of his fights and say, okay, this guy's going to trouble Jamal Charlo. Um, I, I, I could understand... If Jamal Charlo had just had some tough fight and four or five months don't went by and he needs a fight to get back in the ring just, you know, to make sure he stays sharp and he was fighting Selecki. I can understand that. If Jamal Charlo had been rehabbing an injury or something and returning and fight Magic Selecki, Selecki I can understand that. But when... Your name is mentioned with the likes of fighting guys of the caliber of Demetrius Andre, Canelo, David Benavidez, even Caleb Plant, and even Jaime Munguia, and then you end up fighting Selecki. The, um, the only expectation anyone associated with that fight should have of, of from fans is for fans to be disappointed. Um, for me, when I, when I see Jamal Charlo go out there and have a tougher than expected fight versus, uh, Montiel, when Charlo was a huge underdog going into that fight, I don't want to see him in another fight versus a guy. He's going to be a huge underdog, excuse me, a huge, um, favorite. I said underdog, I meant favorite. He's going to be a huge favorite going into the fight. After he just had a, a fight against a guy that he was a huge favorite. And it wasn't that he was just a, such a favorite because he's just such a great fighter. He was such a favorite because the sentiment on his opponent was just so poor. And the expectation was actually for him, for Charlo to go out there and, and do even better than what he did in the fight. And I think he had some great moments in that fight. But he also had, you know, he had some rough patches as well. And, and the fight just didn't play out the way it was expected to. Now, I, I give Montiel credit for what he did. But I think Charlo is fighting Selecki is only setting himself up. And he's in a situation where he can only look bad in this fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he goes out there and he blows Selecki out, then it to, to the masses is going to be, okay, we knew this guy was this was a mismatch. If he goes out there and has a tougher than expected fight, then people are gonna dog pile on him and say he's not as good as advertised. So it, it's it's just the type of fight that it doesn't make sense to voluntarily go have. You know, um, this isn't a fight that you have to fight when the guy's not like ranked number one for your belt or he's not your mandatory. Or it's not a stay busy fight. This is a get busy fight. But this isn't the type of opponent I want to see Jamal Charlo get busy against. You know, um, I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, because I don't want to. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to diminish. You know, or or disrespect uh, Selecki because he's a fighter and he deserves to be respected as such. But I, I, I must say that if Jamal Charlo is who I think he is and who I've seen him to be. I just think it's, it's, it's not a good matchup. I think that he he's going to be a, a, a huge favorite going into the fight. And if he goes out there and does what he's supposed to do, um, it's, it's not going to be a very competitive fight. But that's all I got on it. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.